Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. And in this video, I'm going to be running down all the matches for night one of WrestleMania and giving you my predictions as to who I think is going to win or how I think the matchup is going to go. And it has been a while since I have done a prediction video. I think the last prediction video I did was like day one and somehow that almost got like 200 views so I was not expecting that I'm not sure how well this one's gonna do I'm a little bit nervous about it. it's my first prediction video in a while but if you enjoy it hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel let's go ahead and get into the predictions before we get into the actual matches I want to talk about the KO show possibly the biggest KO show in WWE history on the grandest stage in them all Wrestlemania 38 and Kevin Owens guest is none other than Stone Cold and we all saw Kevin Owens call out Stone Cold basically saying this was the only way to get to Wrestlemania and honestly if I, I gotta admit Kevin Owens dressing up as Stone Cold Steve Austin on Monday Night Raw and acting like Stone Cold literally is some of the greatest television I have ever seen. I love every single minute of it. Kevin Owens has knocked this out of the park so far. But at WrestleMania, I don't know if this is going to turn into a match or not. I really hope it does because I'd be, I really would love to see Stone Cold versus Kevin Owens. But either way, I think KO is getting stunned whether it's in a match or whether Stone Cold just stuns him for the hell of it. It's going to happen. So yeah, if you think Stone Cold's going to stun Kevin Owens at WrestleMania, give me a hell yeah. Okay, let's get into the actual matchups of night one. And honestly, I just want to go ahead and start things off with the one match that I really could care less for. And that's Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. I mean, I feel bad for saying that I don't care about a Drew McIntyre match. It's just at WrestleMania, Happy Corbin versus Drew McIntyre does not sound like a WrestleMania matchup. I mean... I, I, honestly, Drew McIntyre is winning no matter what. If he doesn't, it's just going to be one of the worst booking decisions that they have ever made at WrestleMania. Kind of like having Baron Corbin beat Kurt Angle in his retirement match at WrestleMania 35. That was just a bad decision by WWE, and I, I just cannot care for this match, honestly. This next matchup just got added the day before I'm recording this, and yeah, Kofi Kingston and the returning King Woods will be taking on Rich Holland and Sheamus at WrestleMania with Butch in their corner, and oh my god, I hate that name. I hate the name Butch so much, but I don't know. It was I feel like originally it was, it was going to end up being Big E and Kofi Kingston versus Rich Holland and Sheamus, but we know Big E broke his neck when Rich Holland went for that over-the-head belly-to-belly. It did not end well. Big E did not land right on his neck. He broke his neck, but luckily... King Woods was able to return by then, and he is back. He returned this past Friday on SmackDown, took on Ridge Holland, and defeated him. But I feel like this matchup might possibly end up being on the kickoff. I just don't think it's a big WrestleMania matchup. A lot, like With a lot of these matches at WrestleMania, I don't feel like they're a big, big matchup. But they could surprise me, and they could be really good. But for this matchup, I think I'm going to go with Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. The New Day are going to pick up the win against Ridge Holland and Sheamus. Okay, the next matchup is one that I don't know, honestly, how I feel about because I don't know how I feel about Gogan Paul competing in a WWE match at WrestleMania. I, I'm just not a big Logan Paul guy. But honestly, I'm not missing the opportunity to watch Rey Mysterio get in there with The Miz and tear things up. That that right there I'm excited about, and especially it being Dominic's first WrestleMania. I'm excited for that as well. As for who do I think is going to win this matchup, I'm going with Ray and Dom. I don't think they're going to give Logan Paul a win at WrestleMania with The Miz. I could be wrong, but like I said, I, I just don't like Logan Paul. Okay, we're getting into our title matches for night one right now. And the first title match I wanted to talk about is most likely going to be the main event of night one, even though I feel like Bianca and Becky might be a better match and we're talking about the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Charlotte Flair will be defending her title against the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey, who won the Royal Rumble this year. And I I don't know, like a lot of their segments just have not been clicking for me. Like Ronda Rousey's uh promos I mean, she I didn't think she was bad in her first run, but her promos I feel like have gotten way, way worse and I, I honestly don't think she was practicing her promo skills on her time off. Uh, I don't know. I just I just can I think it's going to be a good matchup. I think it could be a good matchup, but I, I just can't get into this match. But I think clearly uh, Ronda Rousey's winning. I don't think they would have had her win the Royal Rumble if she wasn't going to beat Charlotte at WrestleMania. So I'm going with the baddest woman on the planet, walking out with the SmackDown Women's Championship. 
Let's get into the first tag team title match of WrestleMania. Well, the only uh, tag team title match at WrestleMania Night 1. The Usos will be putting their longest reigning SmackDown tag team title run of like 260 plus days or whatever it is right now. I'm not sure. Against the team of Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. And I, I'm actually excited for this tag team match. Yes, we saw them fight like already two times. We saw Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs both pick up a win against uh, one of the Usos this past Friday on SmackDown. They both got a singles win. And I don't know. That that makes me feel like possibly we're not looking at new tag team champions, even though the Usos have held them for quite a long time. We could get a new champion. You, you, you don't know. Maybe they want to keep them the longest reigning SmackDown tag team champions for a little bit longer. I honestly don't think anybody's going to be breaking that record anytime soon. So I don't know. At WrestleMania for the SmackDown tag team titles, I mean, I'm definitely feeling like Roman's going to win, win all like win the WWE title as well. So I don't know. I don't think they're going to take away the titles from the bloodline. They are just at a peak in their career right now, and it is so freaking good. And I think the Usos are going to retain the SmackDown Tag Team titles at WrestleMania Night 1. Okay, let's get into the one match that I am definitely looking the most forward to. And that is Becky Lynch defending her Raw Women's title against Bianca Belair. And all I have to say is that the build-up to this match makes it feel like this is a big WrestleMania match. And that's exactly what it is. I mean... Two WrestleManias in a row, Bianca is in a women's title match. I mean, she main event at WrestleMania the year before that against Sasha Banks. And now she has a match with Becky Lynch. I mean, what a career Bianca is having so far. I mean, she's won the Royal Rumble. She's a former SmackDown Women's Champion. She's been in some of the biggest matches in the women's division in the past, like, two years. So, I don't know. I am really excited about this. I mean... What a long-term booking that WWE did with this. I mean, Bianca losing in 26 seconds at SummerSlam, building herself back up, going to the back of the line, ending up winning that Elimination Chamber match. She went from the back of the line straight to the top, straight to a title opportunity at WrestleMania by herself. I mean, literally, it was such a great story for this to finally culminate at the grandest stage of them all from SummerSlam. And like I said... The build-up to this has been great. Becky Lynch took out Bianca with a chair right to the throat. I mean, literally, Bianca just cut Becky's hair off on Monday Night Raw. I mean, that was freaking crazy. I don't know. Could we possibly see a hair versus hair match? I don't know. I doubt they're going to add that this close to WrestleMania. But I think Bianca is going to win the Raw Women's title, her first ever Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. And could you imagine that resume already? Two world well, women's championships at two different WrestleManias, that is a big deal, and I think Bianca's going to beat Becky, and I think it is going to be one hell of a match, and I cannot wait for these two to tear the house down at WrestleMania Night 1. Now on to the last match that is announced for WrestleMania Night 1 so far, and that is Seth Rollins taking on an opponent of Mr. McMahon's choosing We've all seen the past like month, Seth Rollins, how desperate he's been to get to WrestleMania. I mean, he even tried to take his best friend, Kevin Owens' spot at WrestleMania and host a talk show with Stone Cold. That did not work out. And then like the next week later, he came out and tried to take AJ Styles' spot against Edge, which I'm really glad Seth did not win that. I know that sounds bad, but I really want to see AJ and... Uh, Edge at WrestleMania, which we are getting at. That is definitely happening. Seth Rollins did not win. So Seth Rollins got called into Mr. McMahon's office at WWE headquarters like early in the morning. Seth Rollins arrived like way before the meeting was even supposed to happen. And what Vince McMahon said was, why were you going through all these hoops and hurdles when you could have just came to me and asked for a WrestleMania match? And Seth was like, what the hell? I could have just came to you? And Vince told him he would pick an opponent of his own choosing to face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, and we weren't going to find out into the match. And if I think I know who it is, but if it is that person, then this match right here could very well main event WrestleMania night one. I could be wrong. They could start things off with this, but I have a very good feeling, a gut feeling, that it's going to be Cody Rhodes because we all heard the rumors and basically heard almost the announce of Cody Rhodes signing with WWE. They have been hinting at it during this whole entire like build-up for Seth Rollins' WrestleMania. 
they've been hinting at it, and I think at WrestleMania, we're going to see Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, and I think they're going to tear the building down. It is going to be so freaking cool to see Cody Rhodes return to WWE in his dad's home state. I think that's going to be a great place for Cody Rhodes to return, and on the grandest stage in them all is a great place to show up anyway, and I think it is going to be a huge moment at WrestleMania, a great WrestleMania moment when Cody Rhodes returns and we see Seth Rollins and him tear the building down and possibly the main event, maybe the beginning of the show, I don't know. We just have to wait and see, but I definitely think Seth Rollins is going to be facing Cody Rhodes. I could be completely wrong. It could end up being Veer, maybe. It could end up being Shane McMahon coming back. I don't know, but I have a gut feeling we're going to see Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, and I think Cody Rhodes will end up winning. If it's not Cody Rhodes, then I think Seth is going to win the matchup. But, yeah, I think at WrestleMania, Cody versus Seth, Cody is winning in his dad's home state. And that is it for my predictions here for night one. Be sure to tune in for my night two prediction video that I'm going to be putting up here very soon after this. And if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're excited for WrestleMania, comment down below what exactly you're excited for. I cannot wait for WrestleMania. It's going to be so freaking awesome.